Hi, Christoph here at CBI Technology in California, going over the uh, timesheets function, specifically as it relates to the project uh, module, which used to be called job costing, has been renamed in version 24, which is being rolled out as we speak. Um, and if you go into the timesheets entry screen now, you'll see the ability to record timesheets per resource. Of course, there's a create timesheet functionality in here that will generate the appropriate entries for you uh, right away. And you start off with recording weekly efforts of an employee in this timesheet screen. As you can see here, there are no references to either any sort of dollar amounts, either unit cost of the resource or selling prices to projects. So this is all about just capturing hours worked and the type of hours worked and so forth. So in here you go in and, and you have the ability to record project related information. You specify the project and the tasks that they work on. If you do have projects that have different rates for either cost or prices, uh, regarding a job, you can use regular uh, work types versus overtime, for example, as a classic example. So in this case, person worked nine hours on Monday, which depending on the state you're in, uh, qualifies for one hour of overstate uh, overtime versus working an hour and a half overtime for the whole week, uh, which you would see in the statistical totals here on the right-hand side. You can also record absences like this, where we pay, for example, do a holiday pay. And of course, you can record multiple absences for different reasons. So you can set up absence codes, where you can also say, for example, there was some sick time involved in here, and maybe I added another sick hour here uh, for this person person on the end there of the week. Um, so when you're done with this, um, as an employee, you would hit the submit button here. Obviously, if you're running this through a crew or different people doing timesheets for you, um, all of this uh, can be configured in, in a number of different options. So in my case, here, I'm going to hit submit. Are you sure you want to submit, submit in all the open lines? What's important to note is you could uh, submit only a single line. You wouldn't have to do the entire week at once. In my case, I'm doing the entire week. It's all submitted. As a manager, then, I would have a separate screen. So if, the, if I'm the manager improving the timesheets, I go to the manager timesheet screen here. I'll find the hours that are worked in there and I would approve the sheet on there. A new version of the software also includes a manager timesheet by project, uh, which uh, looks uh, different as well, and there's some other options here on this screen uh, as well. Uh, however, in my case here, manager timesheet, I'm gonna go back in here and just hit approve. I could reject the timesheet with comments as well, so I can put comments on there and make modifications to it as uh, such. Once I hit the approve button, uh, it just comes up on the approved submitted line. Are you sure? You wanna say yes. Now all the lines have been approved. If any of the users try to make changes to these approved lines, they can no longer do them. Uh, do those changes because uh, it has already been approved. So as you can see here, this is now grayed out and no further changes are possible in this timesheet. Um, so then of course the next step is just simply to do a project journal and pull those time hours into the project and post them against that particular project that was indicated on the timeline. That's basically a quick walkthrough on the timesheet. Uh, functions within Business Central and in the new version 24 you can now do this also on the uh, mobile device which um, is a new feature in 24 and also finally uh, important to note is that this only consumes a Business Central Teams license instead of a full license so it does not require the full uh, license fee uh, for those employees that wish to track their time inside of Business Central. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Thank you.